Yahidna village. Has the area been demined? Is it safe to walk around? The streets are safe, but don't go further. You shouldn't go that way, for instance. We walk there, but no one knows. In our gardens there are still shells, and we don't know if they've already exploded. Did they mine everything here? We were told to wait for sappers to clean that area. Okay, thanks. Just walk along the road, don't wander away. I'll go with you. It's a long story. They came from the forest where you came from. I was looking out the window and saw an armored troops carrier heading towards us and shooting. And soldiers with automatic guns were everywhere too. They would shoot people in the streets and in their houses. Immediately we ran down to the cellar. We stayed there for three days and then they came and took us to school. They gathered everyone from the village there. On the sick people who couldn't walk stayed at their homes. They even brought some old people on wheelbarrows. Did they give you food? At 1 p.m. and at about 4 p.m. They would give a little borscht and then at 4 a little porridge. Two times a day. Sometimes they gave some waffles to children. They wouldn't let us die, but they didn't let us live either. How did they treat people? You know, there were soldiers from Tundra. And they were kinder. They didn't beat us or anything. And there were Burats. They were violent. They were here for three days. On March 6, a soldier came to my house and told me to leave. I went out and there were three tanks and three armored troop carriers. And what happened there? There was a car. It's a shell hole. There was a car with ammunition. Another one was there and then everything burned there. And those boxes? There were bombs in them. From here all the way to school. We have already cleaned it up a little. Did they have cannons too? They had all kinds of weapons. From here and to the school there was machinery with ammunition. There was something in the garden over there. There was something here too. I don't know exactly what. You have no electricity, do you? No electricity, but we have gas. They shelled right from behind the school. I once asked them to let me go home to get some clothes for children to change. I wouldn't let girls go. I'm old, so I would get down and walk there. So I came here and saw Burats. They aimed their guns at me. I asked them to let me in to take some clothes. They let me do that, but aimed at me all the time, even inside my house. I took some t-shirts, he walked me out, and then I went back to school. To get down to the cellar to take some food was forbidden. Nineteen people stayed in the house and the cellar. We had beds there too. So you didn't stay at the school basement, did you? We did. We stayed here only for three days and then in the school all the time. They stayed in our house and the cellar. They occupied the house and the cellar. I see. 